So you've got an Elgato Stream Deck and some Corsair gear, but did you know you can control the iQ software with the Stream Deck? I have a number of devices within my iQ from my Corsair peripherals, Corsair PC case lighting and cooling, and even Nanoleaf panels. In this video, I'm gonna show you five awesome things you can do with a Stream Deck and iQ. Enable various lighting leak effects. With the touch of a button, you'll be able to enable and disable lighting leak effects. These are effects that will automatically apply across all of your devices that are active in iQ. It's super easy to select default lighting leak options in the Stream Deck software, or you can even create your own. Switch profiles on the fly. If you're like me and you like to theme your setup depending on what type of game that you're playing, you can switch profiles at the touch of a button. This can also include your DPI settings on your mouse and your EQ on your headset. These buttons can also be named and have custom thumbnails if you wish. Control and monitor your PC cooling. Are things heating up in your game? Either activate or toggle cooling presets from quiet, balanced or extreme on any of your cooling devices. You can have these on multiple buttons or you can have them set to a single button with toggle if you're trying to save some Stream Deck space. You can also display and toggle your PC sensors to keep an eye on your temperatures. Display the battery status of your Corsair peripherals. No more guessing how much battery your headset has. With this button, you can see the current battery level of your devices per button, or you can have them cycling on a single button if you want to save some space. Activate murals. Murals are a super unique way to set up lighting for your devices. You can have reactive screen mirroring, set a static image or a video for your device to mirror in the lighting effects. You can move the devices around the mural to select various parts of the color scheme, but please just be aware that some of these murals can be very flashy and intense, especially if you're connecting large arrays of nanoleaf panels. If you don't have a physical Stream Deck, but you want to take advantage of what we've talked about in this video, you can use Stream Deck on your phone. And now thanks to the latest Stream Deck mobile update, there is native iPad support too. And just in case you don't know how to install plugins, let me quickly show you. You want to head to the Elgato Stream Deck store and search for the official iQ plugin. Once that's installed, you'll have a whole list of processes to choose from, including the ones I mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know down in the comments below what you'll be putting on your Stream Deck. And if you want more streaming tips and tricks, make sure you hit that subscribe button.